All right, we are at 1326 Mira Vista Court. This is the driveway. Little shed. I don't know, I'd probably paint that door. It's kind of built into the side of the hill. You can see I'm standing on the front stair. From what I understand, this used to be the garage and it's converted. We'll check that out. It really is looking like it's got a gorgeous view, that sleeping giant. You come up onto Mira Vista Court over what's called Overlook Drive. There is a house being built next door and there is a house at the end of Mira Vista, um, right over here. And on the way out, I'll take a little video of what the road looks like coming up. Okay, so you come into the front door area here, and there's a little foyer. This is off the, the main stair. Uh, to the left, is going to be kind of a living room demised into two, but you're gonna have this big grand window here, beam in the ceiling, fan. There's someone coming in, but this is the view. So here's the view, it's pretty amazing. That is Sleeping Giant right there. And the view, I mean, is really highlighted by tall ceilings and large windows. And then the living room, like I said, is demised where it has this second little seating area here. You've got these um, columns here. Another beautiful view out here. The deck, I have to take off my shoes so I can't go out there, but this is the deck. You can tell we got a lot of snow. Nice, sizable. It does go around the front of the house. I'll take a peek out this window so we can see it. You could have something in this location. And then you turn here and you go into dining room and kitchen, so it's kind of a walk around. That part of the house is what's built into the side of the hill. So the kitchen is kind of around the back of the living room. What is that, a five burner gas stove with a hood vent? You've got your sink in this corner. Stainless steel appliances. And then this door here off the kitchen goes down to um, what used to be the garage. Now, as you come around on this level, you've got a pantry. And then this is that foyer with the door, coat closet, you have powder room, 
It's a laminate counter on the sink, and then you have washer dryer in this, I guess, closet that was in the powder room. And then we go upstairs. All right, we've just come upstairs, and when you get to the top of the stairs, you can make a left into one of the three bedrooms up here. Or you could go uh, through this way into a second of three bedrooms, and then between them, they have a Jack and Jill bathroom, and we'll see that in just a second. But let's take a peek at the master. So right at the top of the stairs, you come to the master, has a little seating area. Looks like it has space for a king-size bed. In the alcove here, ceiling fan, vaulted ceiling, and then really makes great use of the view. All right, and then it has the master bath. Actually, see if there's anything we can see out here. This is just kind of from what I understand, there's beautiful landscaping under all the snow and a really nice yard, but we can't really see much of it. I'm seeing a little bit of a railing to something out there and that's about it. Getting a lot of snow this year. So this is a tile countertop. Looks like it's marble in the bath. You've got your tub, separate shower, private commode, and then walk-in closet. Looks like it's kind of long and thin. So let's head down and check out, well, let's see what's here. It looks like this is a um, storage. Looks like it's kind of attic-like storage. And then you walk into one of the second bedrooms. Closet. Yeah, here's where you can see that there's really something to the backyard with some railing and fencing. Um, wish they had pictures of it. Get a little bit of the view out of this window here. And then you go through the Jack and Jill bathroom, which looks like it's nicely upgraded. There's marble um, shower. And then marble floor. A little bit of an upgrade on the vanity. And then you go through to the third bedroom up here. The bedrooms aren't large. Um, and then this one has a door to the outside. It looks like it's just a stone patio. And I wonder how the stone patio plays into, you know, the backyard that I'm told is really, really nice in the summer times. Let's head down. Okay, so we've come down the stairs from the kitchen and to the right here is a room that looks like a mechanical room, but it's got a lot of storage in it, and I cannot find the light. So, you come through here, and it looks like they turned what used to be the garage into just a downstairs room. So it has doors here and doors here, and they've made it a bedroom. You can see there's some little bit of chip paint on the outside.
but there is a bath down here. Looks like it's a laminate wood floor and a tile shower tub. Vanity. And that is Mira Vista Court. All right, so that's the driveway. And I'm going to continue to back up. And then here's what the tiny road coming in looks like. I'm not sure who plows Mira Vista Court. We'd have to find out. Um, but once you come and you can see the new construction next door. Hi. And then you can see kind of that older home as that sold not too long ago. And here we are coming out of Mira Vista. You can kind of see how much snow we've had. And then this is the main road, Overlook Drive. So Overlook Drive is, um, is obvious uh, that the city plows Overlook Drive. And then you come and make a left and take it all the way down to pretty much City Market. Um, this road will put you out at eventually, or the hospital, I should say. And that's, that's Mira Vista Court.